Hey everyone, how are you doing this morning? It's Marla, hopefully everybody is doing well. And today, da 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 da, I am going to quickly run through what was in my Allure Beauty Box. This is a monthly makeup, skincare, hair care subscription box. Don't know all the details on the pricing on this because it was sent to me as a gift. So I have gotten this all year long. I've really enjoyed it. I wouldn't say I would necessarily renew it myself because I really Really like picking out my own products. Some of the products in here have been hits, but some have kind of been wow, not something I would purchase. I have enjoyed getting kind of the surprise in the mail, especially right now with COVID. It's just a nice little thing I get in the mail to just look through and test out. This is my October beauty box. Do you believe this year's almost over with? It is scary to think how much of a blur 2020 will be. Anyway, let me quickly open the box. There's always an informational card in here that lets you know what is in the box. Receive 20% off your purchase of one of the products in here, which is nice. There's promo codes inside that they include, which is also great in case you love the products in the box. So I really appreciate the fact that they do put promo codes in here. Okay, the first thing I see in the box is what I'm wearing and what I don't really like that much is this lip product. It's a liquid lipstick. It's not so much I don't like the feel of the liquid lipstick. I just don't like the color of the liquid lipstick. I don't wear dark shades and this is really a venomous color. I had to actually put a little bit of a gloss on it. I'm more of a Ofra liquid lipstick kind of person, but this isn't bad. This is by Sigma and it's their liquid lipstick. And this is in the shade Venom, which is a very deep red shade. And when you put this on, it dries really quickly, which is great. I could see that this may not be very transferable. It says it's a lightweight satin matte lip color, timeless deep blood red, which it really is. A long wearing, non-drying with a doe foot applicator and vegan. I don't know if they're cruelty free, but I'm assuming they are. This is the size of the tube. And if you actually want to see the shade, it has a doe foot applicator, which is really nice. And the shade is that color. So that's what it looks like without the gloss on. It does dry super, super fast. But that is a benefit because I don't think this really is transferable. I wouldn't mind trying other shades in this, but again, Ofra is my main jam. I love Ofra for liquid lipsticks. They just feel so comfortable on my lips. That was a nice product. I just wish it would have been more of a nude shade. I am not a red lipstick kind of person. Okay, next in the box, I see a lot of good stuff in here. I see some La Roche Posay Lipicar Balm. This is intense repair moisture moisturizing cream. I can always use, as a matter of fact, I may give this to my son because he has such dry skin. This is endorsed by the National Eczema Association and I love La Roche-Posay. I think their products are really good products. It says extra dry skin for body and face. This is what the container looks like. I think that's how it's sold in the large size. In my box, this is the size I got. And I'm going to give this to my son for his extremely dry skin. Colorado, you need as much cream as you can get. The other thing I have in here, which I'm thrilled about, is another vitamin C to test out. I love vitamin C products. This is from the new NUE company. It is topical vitamin C. It's a potent powdered vitamin C that gets activated in the palm of your hand, helping to boost collagen production, reduce fine lines, and brighten skin. Ferulic acid stabilizes and increases absorption while colloidal oatmeal and aloe vera soothe and calm the skin. Two to three shakes blend into moisturizer, serum, or water applied to clean, dry skin. That's interesting. I've never had a powdered vitamin vitamin C, but how cool. It's in a protective dark bottle to keep it potent. It says two to three shakes, 
on the palm of your hand. Yep, it has this little cap here. All you do is take off that little tiny cover that was in there. You could see a little hole. So all you do is shake this two to three times on the palm of your hand. Use moisturizer kind of to mix it in and then put that on your skin. I will have to test this out. I've never had a powdered vitamin C before. This may be something new that I love, maybe something new that I hate. <laughs> we will see and I will let you know how I feel about this once I use it, but I'm always thrilled to get vitamin C products. I use them religiously on my skin. I think they brighten the skin. I think they help with fine lines and wrinkles. I think they help with the texture of your skin. Just love ferulic acid. Okay, next in my box is something from a company I am not familiar with. It's called Verso Super Eye Serum with Retinol 8. And let me see if I can find any information on this. So it says, if you're the type of person who remembers to use eye cream, which I do, I use eye cream every day, you're probably also a pro at keeping plants alive. There's no excuse for my perpetually wilted ficus. I don't quite get what they're getting at with this. Let me see if I can understand it. But the reason I rarely use eye cream is because 95% of the ones I've tried make my eyes watery, create little bumps around my lids, or fail to deliver noticeable benefits. Verso Super Eye Serum is among the rarefied 5% lightweight texture, doesn't irritate my eyes, even with retinol as the star ingredient. The applicator enables me to apply a pinhead sized dot of the product patted around my eyes to help my dark circles and bags and make them look less puffy. You know, it's tough for me because I have a really strict skincare routine I've been following now for the past, I don't know, year or so. Very hard for me to venture off that. I have an eye serum that I absolutely, absolutely love. I may have to give this to somebody because my skincare routine is kind of set in stone right now. And I love the eye serum that I personally use, does not irritate my eyes. And I really feel it has helped with any creping or wrinkles that I would get around my eyes or on my lids. Not too sure about that eye serum. The other two things I see in here, one I love, one, eh, I don't know. <laughs> the one is Dr. Jart's Ceramidin Cream. I actually have a big tube of this next to my bed. I like to mix a little bit of this cream actually in with my moisturizer for my hands because it really boosts the moisturization. I don't use it too much on my face skin, mainly use it for my hands, but this is a fabulous product for anybody that has super dry skin. It doesn't block Lock my pores up. I have tried it on my face, but it's great for people that live, for example, like me in a dry climate that are constantly battling having no moisture in the air. This product is fabulous. It just locks in moisture, makes your skin look plump, and it is a wonderful thing to add to your hand cream. I would love to use it like hand cream, but it's too expensive to do that way. So all I do is add a drop of it, a little dollop of it in with my regular hand cream, mix that all over my hands, and it just hydrates hydrates my skin so nicely. So I'm thrilled to get anything from Dr. Jart. And the last thing in here is something that I don't use anymore, but I may use this because it's a nice nude shade. I don't paint my fingernails anymore. I just don't, I just don't, I don't know. I have the time right now because I'm locked in the house with COVID, but I just don't paint my nails much anymore. It's something I've kind of stopped doing. This is from a company called Static Nails. It's non-toxic liquid lacquer. It's in a really beautiful shade, kind of a mauve nude shade. So I may try this. The shade is called Irene. At least they didn't send me red nail polish because that's something I never use. I just don't like dark fingernails on me. Other people, it's fine, but I don't like it on me. I may give that a try and see how I like it. And they always include masks in the box, which I still haven't gotten through the masks. I've, I just have not been masking as much as I normally do. I really need to start masking again. And they send me two other products in the box. They always send me some type of mask. And I, I'll be honest with you, I haven't gotten through the masks that they've sent me the past couple months yet. So I'm going to have to start cranking it out with uh, taking care of my skin with masking. This is from Wilma's Schumann. I think that's the name of the company. It's a European skincare brand. Their hydrogen collagen
touch and iPads. I love using iPads. I think they really help with the lines around your eyes. They smooth that whole area out. It says an intense hydration boosting treatment for the eye contour area, 100% pure collagen for all skin types, contains soothing and hydrating ingredients, will visibly and effectively improve the appearance of fine lines and wrinkles and reduce puffiness. Super hydrating gel pads are easy to use and are non-irritating. I will definitely test these out. I love iPads. I, I can always use those. And the other thing they sent me is a shampoo and conditioner, which I may give to my son because I am a diehard color wow hair products person. So I may give this to my son. The company is probably Rusk Pure Mix and the shampoo name is Native Fig. This is cruelty free, which is great. And it's a shampoo and conditioner for normal hair, free of sulfates, parabens, silicones, artificial colorants, gluten, and cruelty free. So I'll try it out. Uh, even though I am a diehard color wow person, I will let you know how I like it right down here after I use it. I've enjoyed this box. I think this is a really nice box. Probably my favorite products from the box were the vitamin C powder, which I want to test out, and the Dr. Jart ceramidin. Always love that. Everything else I may end up giving to my son except for the retinol. I don't think he uses retinol, at least not yet. Not a fan of this color lipstick, but it is a nice liquid lipstick for going on your lips. I had to put a little bit of gloss on it to be able to tolerate this color. I'm more of a nudie. And that's it. The Allure Beauty Box. I have enjoyed this box so far. I'm going to see how the rest of the year goes with it. I think I have it till the end of the year. That is the end of my box, everything that's in it. I'll leave a link to this box down in my description box. Take care guys. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye from Marla.